entire layer and this is going to be a six card spread it is going to involve where your relationship is at currently your feelings their feelings the obstacles of the relationship if any the suggested approach from the universe and the likely outcome right please note this will not resonate with every leo watching this video if it doesn't resonate with you don't try to fit it in all right leo in your overall energy you have the judgment there is a final decision that is going to be made here someone has an awakening someone is finally going to be very decisive and they're going to make a very firm decision yeah there may be forgiveness involved for someone that did something wrong to another person but yeah a final decision is going to be made this was a long this a long pending decision this could be a decision where um you could not be learning from your own mistakes and it keeps coming back till you don't learn your mistakes okay you are going to calmly evaluate yourself and your choices and make a positive decision okay you are going to you have come through your past karmic lessons and uh, you have increased your self awareness and finally you're ready to make a decision a big decision this is a big decision like a final one All right. Where your relationship is at presently, you have the two of pentacles in reverse. You could be dealing with an earth sign. Leo, what I see is that you were trying to balance two things. You were trying to balance two situations or two people. This could also be the other person's energy. Feel free to uh, switch the energies. This is where you've had gone through a lot of ups and downs with this person. you have tried to be very flexible you have tried to juggle things but uh, you're not being able to do it because as you see right she's not being able to balance both of them if one is out the other is the other is out this could be a lot of financial stress that you have gone through and probably you finally realize that you have two things and you will have to drop one thing and you are you're finally making a decision to drop one person one thing or one situation in your feelings leo you have the 8 of pentacles you are not wanting to focus any more on something you're not putting in your effort you're not feeling as committed as you are before you are not dedicated to this relationship in this anymore you're lacking ambition you're lacking confidence you don't want to put in your hard work anymore you just don't want to involve yourself you're not focused on this you're lacking uh, the effort you feel that the effort that you put in is not going to pay off or you just feel nothing's happening you just invested in this for nothing or you're just being plain lazy idle and careless this could also mean that you are focusing on only one area of your life very very extremely and you're neglecting the other important areas of your life you could be very materialistic right now you could be a workaholic right now and you're ignoring your relationship where you should be investing your time you're not putting in that work that is needed to achieve your goals or to get the relationship to a certain level in their feelings they have the 10 of swords you could be dealing with an air sign an aquarius libra or a gemini this is backstabbing they feel backstabbed they feel betrayed this is bad mouthing but this is definitely this could be a, a divorce a separation or a breakup you severing ties they've severed ties with you someone has realized that the other person is not putting in their effort and they just feel like they were cheated someone feels something is over or they have ended something with you or you have ended something with them let me know down in the comment boxes guys what's happening this could be someone in an abusive relationship or this could be even someone who's just being overly dramatic attention seeking you know and just playing the victim whereas there is nothing like that but yeah they do feel something's come to an end or they just feel plain very very betrayed and hurt in the obstacle card 
we have the death in reverse. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. There is some change. There is some ending that you are resisting, Leo. This could be you or the other person. Someone is resisting an end. Probably this could be an end to a relationship that someone is resisting. Probably one person has accepted it and the other person isn't. Maybe you both want to still be in the relationship, but no one's um, make, taking any action. Both are in their own heads, in their own mind space. No one is walking away. And that is why the, the, the relationship is getting even worse. Someone is um, resisting a spiritual transformation, okay? This, this is a very good new beginning, probably in the same relationship, but someone's, someone's still staying in that same place. They're not ready to change. There is a requirement of a very big change. This is someone who fears new beginnings or someone who is not being able to move forward. This could be you, Leo. Probably you know the relationship has ended, there is nothing left and you're not ready to move forward or this is the other person. Someone is very dependent codependent this is this could be someone who's very codependent this is someone who's resisting a change that is very 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 necessary for you to move forward in life and remember something leo nothing new can begin till you hold on to what is old the old negative energy till it's around nothing new is going to begin you could be dealing with a scorpio if i didn't say that before in your advice like I said, you have the Six of Swords. You could be dealing with an air sign. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. There is a very, very important need for you to walk away. Walk away into calmer waters. There is someone who is not ready to walk away from the problems that they are in. They are still there. They are in the same rut. They don't realize that it's, it's, it's no longer serving them. There is a very important need to move forward, move on. If things are not working your way, if there is something that is not making you feel happy or not serving you, move forward. Things will calm down on its own. I mean, there could be a very important need to just run away, just, just heal, go on a holiday. If you are in a long distance relationship, although I don't see that, there may be someone who is coming to travel, coming to see you. You're holding on to negativity. You're not ready to move forward. Move forward. Let go. Let the bygones be bygones. There's a very important need to do this. Let it go and watch it all come back to you. If it is meant for you, it will. But there is no point holding on to something which does not make you happy, right? You may have come through the heart heartache, you know, but it's important to let go because you're holding on to negative part you're holding on to the negativity it's very important for you to let go the likely outcome this is amazing you have three of cups this is a reconciliation so what I feel is that the moment you let go the moment you let go of the negative aspects of the relationship you're going to reconcile. You both are going to reconcile. You both want to reunite. You both want to come together. You guys want to celebrate together. You want to be happy together. This is a very strong sign of someone from the past reappearing in your life. So if you have broken up with this person, you have let go or you are wanting to let go, they're coming back. And this is someone you your, from your past who is reappearing in your life in a romantic capacity. You're reuniting. There is reconciliation on the cards. Let's clarify the Ten of Swords. Please clarify the Ten of Swords for Leo. Ten of Swords for Leo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Too many cards. You have the bottom of the deck, you have the five of cups. 
you could be regretting, you could be in remorse, you could be in deep pain of losing something or losing someone or letting go of a relationship. You're too negative, Leo. The Ten of Swords is clarified by the King of Cups, water energy. Someone is in love. They don't want to end this and probably that is why they're not letting go. They really love you, Leo, or this is you. You could be having water in your chart somewhere. This is someone who is very, very stable. This is someone who has their head and heart in place. This is someone very mature, very emotional, very grounded. But they're not, they don't overdo anything. They have their emotions in control. They feel deep, but they wouldn't really show it. This is a very mature person, very balanced. They know exactly when to show their feelings. This is a love offer. Once you end this and you're getting a love offer, there's someone coming in with an offer of love. This is genuine. This is an emotional offer. This is to do with feelings. Someone's coming in with a love offer. This is the same person that you end up things with. So your ex is coming back. I have two cards clarifying your ex. That is the three of cups. And then I see the ten of swords clarified by the king of cups. Why is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse here? Why is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse here? Why is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse? Why is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse? Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. You have the Seven of Cups in reverse, Leo. Leo, you could have felt very confused initially or you must have been uh, in a lot of illusions, a lot of wishful thinking. You may have had a lot of options. You may have not known what to choose. You may have been in your fantasy world. You must be wanting this, that, this, that, everything. You would be wanting a lot of things. But then, pro but it is in the reverse. You're finally getting clarity. Probably that is why you were focused on everything else except the relationship. But you are getting clarity. You're narrowing down your options. You now know what you want. You're going to make a choice, Leo. Or they are going to make a choice. And they're definitely wanting to reconcile. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords. This is again air energy. A very, very, very important need to communicate, to clarify. If you have a clouded judgment, this is going to come in and clarify everything. The harsh truth. This is a new beginning. A new, this, this can be a communication which can open doorways to new, to, new, uh, to new doors. This is going to come and set you free. This is going to be harsh truth, but it will set you free. Set you free. You will know what to do next once this communication comes in. Alright Leo, thank you for watching this video. Please pass on your comments down below. And please like, share and subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.